morning guys. I don't usually start my start the day in my pajamas, same with Gabby. But we left Bailey Bird outside for the first time last night, not locked in his cage. And now he's missing. So we have to go find him. He literally comes to Gabby when she calls him. It's so crazy. See that window right in the middle there? I was up there peeing this morning and I heard him out here squawking. So he's left the porch, I think. Bailey! I knew this was gonna happen and it has to happen. He has to leave the nest and go look for food, but now I, my heart is just beating so fast because I just don't want him to get hurt. I don't want him to go and try and find other people. But yesterday, you guys, when we woke up in the morning, there was a whole murder of crows in our backyard and I felt like it was a sign from God, like let him go and he'll find a new, a new family. But by the time I let him go, they were all gone. So today, he had the chance to go out and find them. It's cold out. Watch, she's all the way up there on the roof. <laughs> Probably he was on the roof up there. Probably outside the bathroom window saying, let me in. I don't know, I, I heard him though. Do you see him in the bushes? Uh, no. Usually he hangs out in these bushes and I can never see him, but Gabby can. It's cold out. This is horrible. It's good, but it's horrible because I know he's still alive because I heard him call me but I didn't feed him last night because I wanted him to be starving. And um, I'm gonna show you guys, we didn't put him in his cage last night because I need him to know that he can move around and go places. And I have to show you where we found him. I'll put a picture right here and show you where we found him last night. It was so sad. It was cute though. Isn't that so cute though? It's like you saying, mama, mama, you didn't put me to bed. I wanna go in my cage. But he doesn't like us to catch him anymore, so like he's getting a little more wild. Guys, I opened the front door to check on him, and there he is. <laughs> so cute. Let me get him some food. He's like, please feed me. That's not good that he goes right to her. He's so hungry. <laughs> Let me get you some food just for going in the front. Good boy. Oh, look how submissive he's being. Don't pet him because we're trying to make him wild. It's fun to pet him though. I know, it's hard to Especially know. when he fluffs his face. Oh, I know, he's trying to make himself beautiful for you. Get him some food. Still kind of frozen. It oh, makes me nervous. Is that the mailman just walk up right now and found cow? Yeah, that's the problem here. <laughs> you feed him. Listen, Mr. Bailey, I can't keep feeding you like this. Just drop it on the ground. That's a big piece. Oh, you're so hungry. I need to cut it better. Break it up. Yeah, you should break it up. No, I'm he will eating it. Actually. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. He ate it. Look at how he's just standing up straight. He's like, oh, thank the Lord, I'm so hungry. Oh, he's cold. Shitty. Or he's cold. Or he's still trying to swallow the food. Yeah, that's probably it. So a lady was walking by. We're out there in our in our pajamas, no bra. She's walking by with her big, huge golden doodle, which made me miss Abby. No, no. that's the golden doodle that Dad said a long time ago, like a week ago. I saw the most beautiful golden doodle. Yeah. She also has like two or three other children. Yeah, that lady has the most beautiful golden doodle. It makes us want to get another big dog right now. Anyways, so she was walking by and she stopped and was looking at us. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> yeah, so this we, we raised this little, so I had to tell her the whole story and how we released them and how this is the first time we ever came to the front yard. And she's like, well, this has been the most interesting walk for me. <laughs> anyway, I said, well, yeah, at least you know now. So tomorrow morning, if you're out walking and a baby bird goes up to you and starts like, calling at you, you know it's that he just thinks you're his mama and wants food, not that he's trying to attack you, right? Yeah. So I'm upstairs trying to get ready for the day and the girls are trying to get ready for the day and I can hear a crow squawking and I'm like, huh, is that our crow or what's happening? And so I have to run downstairs in the middle of getting ready. He's out here now I have to go look for him. Okay, so you know how to get from the front of the house to the side of the house. Know what you're doing now. See? 
You guys, I feel like we jumped up a step last night from me leaving him out last night. I headed to the barn today for my second ride ever. The girls think I'm gonna learn trotting. You're gonna trot, because Fiona always teaches uh, for your first lesson. Uh, you at her place for your first no. lesson at her place, no. walk, and then your next lesson at her place is trot. Yeah, so the girls think I'm gonna trot. I don't know, I don't, I'm like so nervous. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys I'm folding the laundry before we get ready to go. And do your dogs do this? I'm sure they must. Well, Toby, Toby's standing on top of the pile now. But usually, as soon as I dump all the warm towels and blankets and clothes onto the couch, they come flying at me and bury themselves in the warmness. Like, look at Cookie. Look at <laughs> She's like, she had Sam's underwear on her head just a minute ago. Yeah, so they're all happy in our nice clean clothes. Look at Macy. Yeah. I ran to check on Bailey just because I like to keep an eye on him and I know he's been flying places lately and I couldn't find him anywhere and the girls started laughing and ran over here in the living room. Let me show you where we found him. Well, he's spying. just nesting out there. No, he's just spying. Yeah, he's spying on us. Do you feel <laughs> spied on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't it the creepiest feeling? He can actually speak. He really is imprinted on us and wants to be a part of our no, family. No, he's imprinted on me. Yeah, so he's all fed since I gave him some food. Yeah, it's so funny. It's so funny. We are headed out to the barn to have my lesson. I have my own riding helmet now. It's called Troxel. I don't know about that, but anyway, it's super cool. It's adjustable. Love it. Anyway, before I forget, I have to tell you guys, we got Snapchat. We got a day-by-day -day Snapchat. It's called Day-by-day -day Vlogs. I don't know how to work it, but I I got it under Day-by-day -day Vlogs, and then I tweeted it, and literally, I have so many people on there now. So, um, yeah, bear with me while I'm trying to figure it out, and you guys, it's gonna take me a longer time to respond to you. So if I don't respond, it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's because I'm trying to do YouTube comments, I'm trying to do Instagram comments, and now Snapchat chat comments, and there are a lot of them. So bear with me, and some of you guys have been teaching me, and it's been awesome. The barn, and Fiona is not at the riding arena behind us there, and so she's no down there catching there. horses. So Gabby and I are trying to figure out who I'm gonna ride today. <laughs> I think it's Blue Ziggy or Jasmine. I have I a strong I'm feeling, feeling Blue or Ziggy. What? I have a strong feeling blue or Ziggy. I think it's gonna be blue. I feel like she let me ride Ziggy last week, so because I love him so much, I feel like she wants me to get the feel of a better horse. All beginners, oh, ride blue. I'm so pumped up for this ride, you guys. Gabby thinks I'm gonna trot, and I'm nervous you about it. You are. <clears throat> Anyway, I also have Just don't trot without stirrups, because you'll be doing trot, 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 lose your stirrup, sitting trot, 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 lose your stirrups, trot, trot. Okay, we're here. I'm riding Ziggy, and I know because I get to get him out of the stall. The trick is gonna be convincing Gabby that it's my turn. Okay, here, you hold the camera. Wait. See? Hi, Ziggy. What do I do? Here, Mom. Just show me, so, just tell me. Okay, this, this is goes the like nose. this. This goes over the nose. Okay. And then that goes over the ears. I have to convince Gabby to let me try. <laughs> yep. Just I did it. Not shocked. Yeah. You did it? Yeah, I did it mostly. Other side. Mom. Okay. Perfect. Alright, I got my boy. And I did it all by myself. It was super, well, mostly I said, is this the way it goes? Is this the way it goes? And then she Wait, helped me. Look, hold Ziggy's him, hold him. This part was not there, so it was too tight for him. Oh, so how do we... choking him. Do we need to fix it? No, I fixed it. Oh, yeah, so walk I on. apparently... Walk on. Apparently, I didn't this, do it right. Hold. Well, when I went into a stall, I swear to God, he put his head on my shoulder, and I kissed him. And I've never been a kissing horse kind of girl. Mm. Right, Gabby? I... I think I didn't catch Hope running into her stall. Yeah, so, so is that what Fiona does? Send her in? So I was yeah, in Ziggy's I was in Ziggy's stall and all of a sudden a horse Hope just came flying, zoom, running through the barn and went into her stall all on her own. Isn't that cool? Ziggy's such a cool horse. What other horse would
stop once you fall off. Or maybe the other. He's agreeing with me. He's agreeing with me. He's agreeing with me. He's such a good hey, horse. Mark, you have to take the blanket off. He stops when you fall off. Okay. Here we go. All the way around the ring. we were going faster on our trail ride than this. I'm gonna to have to verify by looking at my last video. I'm pretty sure we we're going faster on the trail ride. Even my slow pony was going fast. I just saw a snail go faster than your mom. What? I saw a snail go faster than your mom. Did a jump there. You see, your mom almost did a jump there. Hey, is that like your jump? She doing poles. Doing poles. Your mom's already jumping. Yep, with bigger poles than you walked over. Hey. Or is it a trot? It's gonna trot. Oh, 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 he goes.
Good job, you didn't fall off. I know, did I look like I didn't fall off? I was hoping you were. No, you There go all the girls, leaving me here by myself. This has been the best lesson. My hair is atrocious because of the helmet, but it was so fun. I probably looked terrible trotting because I had to get used to it. I've never done it before. I feel like the second time I did it, I was better. And every time I did it, I was like, let me do it again. Let me do it again. It was so good. You know what's funny? What? Is that we're walking to the barn faster than you were walking on the horse. <laughs> yeah, it was slow. It is slow. God, I just need time, you guys. The second lesson ever. And it's a lot to take in. It seems easy when you know everything already, but when you're first learning it, you're like going through all these checklists of all the body parts and where they have to go. And it was so rewarding. Can't believe that me, that I want to ride a horse. Like it's just not something that I've ever wanted before. It feels so good. I think you guys should thumbs up the video if you think Sam should take lessons because we all need to know what we're doing. And also thank you guys so much for showing so much support on yesterday's video and doing lots of thumbs up. When Sophia woke up this morning, she wanted to watch the video and then she said, how many thumbs up, how many thumbs up? And then she looked at how many thumbs up there were and she was so happy and it made it feel so much better for her that everybody saw her fall and everybody supported her and that was amazing. So thank you so much for doing that. Anyway, I'm going to put Ziggy in whew, his pen and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.